Thanks, Brad. It all started with paper acid and then marijuana laced with cocaine and then crack cocaine before New Zion Baptist Church pastor Clifford Alford finally came crashing back down to his hometown of Trenton, New Jersey. But a sign from above led the addicted man to church and there he found his wife, Stephanie, and a dream that led him to his calling as a man of God. East Texas News 9's Michelle Reed shows you it's never too late to let the man upstairs work a little miracle. Here's tonight's Survivor Story. drink and we would take paper acid and to come down off the paper acid we would uh, take the crack cocaine um, but eventually the crack cocaine took over. Growing up in Trenton, New Jersey, Clifford Olford wasn't a stranger to the mayhem that drugs bring. We um, ran the streets. It's a, it's, it's a heavy urban area and in the urban area you run into all of the problems that the urban areas had. Like crack cocaine. It took over everything that was me. Um, <laughs> I, I, I stole from my family. I stole from my son. I would buy him Christmas presents and on Christmas morning they would be gone. The former army man says he had never even smoked a cigarette until he joined the military. It started off really um, just being a part of the crowd being a part of the crowd. Um, everybody else was doing something, you know, so like, when everybody else go out, we all go out together. And that was just part of the scene. A scene that made him hate to see his reflection in the mirror. I didn't like to hear the birds chirp because I knew if I heard the birds chirp because I, I knew I made another mistake. But little did he know that his future wife, Stephanie, was also dealing with her own demons. When I first tried it, I got addicted to it. Stephanie said she first started smoking marijuana, the marijuana laced with cocaine, and then crack. Until one day, her best friend saw her in the streets buying drugs on the corner. When I looked at her, I tears just rolled down my eyes. I couldn't lie to her anymore. And she looked at me and she says, oh, are you? And I say, yes. That's when Stephanie decided to pray. And I kept praying and praying and praying. I says, you know, God help me. I said, because I can't help myself. And at 26 years old, Stephanie met Clifford, a recovering addict who was making his life as a pastor. And together, they made their life anew with God. God. God has cleansed me. God has delivered me from being a drug addict. And, and life has been better since. Clifford says he only did drugs for five years, but it was a hard five years. And wants people in Lufkin to know that even when you think the end is near, God is always on your side. God can bring you out. In Lufkin, Michelle Reed, KTRE, East Texas News 9. Well, Clifford and Stephanie run the Hope Center, which offers a food pantry, clothes, and several other classes for those in low poverty areas. If you have a survivor story to share or know of someone who has overcome a life challenge, send an email to mreed at ktre.com.